All right, so moving back right along. We already got it set up, and hardware-wise, you got everything hooked up, plugged up, still sitting there on the table. Uh, you went in and set up whatever you are going to do on your IP address, leave it the same, or specify it over your own network, or change the IP address, whatever your personal preferences are. Now you need to set it up in your sequencer. I mean, I've got them all. You know, I'm not going to show you how to hook them or how to set them up in all. I'm going to show you how to hook, set them up in Lightarama, okay? Uh, we're going to go to Lotorama's network configuration. That's where we're going to go first. Okay. And it's going to pop up this little box. And what you want to do is go over to advanced. Okay. Now we're on the DMX tab. LOR tab is where you'd set up your regular USB coming out to your LOR controllers. That's how I did mine. I, I didn't run my LOR controllers in DMX mode. I was going to. And I decided against it. I decided to just keep the network separated. I, I know it's two cords running out to the yard, two Cat5 cables going out. One's going to my DMX to the switch and going out to my controllers that way over with E131. And one's running all my my LOR controllers. That's just how I did mine. You can run them over DMX. Uh, there's plenty of explanations out there on how to do that. But that's how I did mine. So anyway, we're going to move right along. As you can see, we're in the DMX tab on the LOR Advanced Network Preferences. So all you need to do, and we're not going to go into great detail here either. There's another video on this as well, and I don't see any reason to doing the same video over and over again. Phil's got that video, and I'll post a link to it in the description as well. But we're going to go ahead and do it real quick, just because I've never set it up before and walk you through it. So you double click on right here, UZ131, Multicast and hit OK. That's it. It just set up multicast universe 1. And it'll say 1 right there. Just do it again. UZ131 multicast. Do it all the way down for however many universes you have. We're going to go ahead and set it up for 8 for the ECG P2. Of course if you have multiple P2s, if you have an ECG P12, you're going to need to keep on going, but for right now we're just going to go ahead and set up 8. And yes, I had to do this on a completely different computer than my regular computer, because or my show computer, because it's already completely set up on my show computer, so I had to go over here and set everything up here. Anyway, so there you are, 1 through 8, and you can see them right there, 1 through 8. So that's set up on multicast, everything's set, just hit apply. Your netic start settings have been changed. You may need to close programs. This is the only program I have open, so OK. Hit OK. All right. Your network preferences are set up now. It's, it's going to talk to the controller. Now you need to set it up in the sequencer. This is where people get confused big time. So we're going to open up the lot of ROM sequencer. OK. We're going to create a new sequence, just a new musical sequence. And I just realized I have zero music on this computer. Either. Let's go to my Dropbox account. Uh, what do we got? I mean, does it really matter? I don't guess it really even matters. We'll just pick something. We'll do Sandstorm. Nah, we'll do the Black Eyed Peas. There we go. We'll keep this consistent. All right. Use standard LOR controllers. Okay, now you can load up if you've already got sequences that are on LOR controllers and you want to keep all that stuff and you're just adding to it. If you're just going to add RGB to what you already have, you're not actually taking away anything or, you know, whatever. You can load up your regular channel configuration. So you can load a, a, a channel configuration. We're actually just going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this start to finish like it's a brand new sequence first time you've ever set up the sequence editor I mean the sequencer all that stuff uh, number of channels used you don't put in your DMX universes right here or anything we're gonna set this uh, we're gonna put this at one just because you gotta have one to get the sequencer to start just one channel okay we'll do the timings at a tenth of a second with okay we'll let it load up the grid real quick alright so there's our sequencer I'm assuming you know how to sequence regular LOR channels, okay? So, you know, if this is just a regular LOR channel, we're actually not going to use it for anything. We'll rename it. This will be our beat channel. We'll insert beats here. That's what we'll do. 
Okay. That's where we'll keep track of our beats. Okay. Now, over on the ECGP2, we set up the Universe 1 as 150 pixels, right? So, Universe 1 needs to be 450 channels. Okay? So, you right-click right here and hit Insert Device Below. Okay? You're going to want to change this to DMX. Okay? Got all this different stuff right now here. DMX Universe, okay? Universe 1. Here's the part that I, I can't stand. It's a pet peeve. You can't type anything in here. You can't be specific. I, I hate that. I, I can't stand it. But we are only going to use 450 channels on Universe 1, okay? So 464 is what we're going to have to select. So select 464, okay? Yes, I know it, a universe will do 512, you know, 170 pixels. Here's the deal. We're setting this up for ease of sequencing, right? So, to me, doing it at 510 channels, you know, 170 pixels, you're, you're breaking up a string in the middle of the string. You're rolling it over in the universe. For it to register in your hell, it's a little simpler. I'm going to break these up into 50 pixel strings a piece. So that it, it's, it's easy for you to figure it out. It's visually, you'll be able to understand it a little bit better. So 464 channels, right? DMX1, okay? We're going to convert to RGB channels. So right click right here on your very first channel and hit convert to RGB channel. Okay? Also do this down here, check that. Also do this for the following channels. 150, okay? That's your 150 pixels. Hit OK, and it just made 150 pixels, which is a total of 450 channels. Okay, see right down here. If we click on this, it'll tell us channel 448, 449, 450, red, green, blue. So you've got all these extra channels left over. Delete them. Excuse me. Hate this part. Wish you could just pick exactly what channel you want to be in that universe, but it makes you pick specific channels. I mean, and that's because it's it was set up for LOR controllers. Delete channel, delete channel. I could probably edit this out and shorten the video down, but you know you're gonna have to do it. So this is what you're gonna do. Now this is for pixels. You don't have to do this. If you're doing uh, like Universe 1 for instance is going to be for uh, dumb RGB. You know the 27 channel Raywoo controllers or the little white 3 channel uh, DMX module controllers that everybody's got. For those you can go ahead and make it a full universe. You can do 510. For ease of setup in the ECGP2 and on your sequencing, I like to keep them and break them up into 50 pixels a piece. So it just it, it, it's easier for me. 50 pixels, 50 pixels, and 50 pixels on each universe. So three strands coming out of each universe. Okay. So now that we've done this, those are in a group now. The entire universe is in a group. Uh, I probably shouldn't have checked on that, but we're gonna ungroup it. Okay. So hit D group, okay. Now I want to convert these back to a group, okay. Now what I'm going to do is convert to a group. This is just how I do it. Everybody does sequencing different. Everybody. You can put these into tracks. You can you can do so many different things with this, but this is how I sequence RGB pixels, okay. So I'm going to name this one. Uh, in my show, I'd name it like window door, but for the sake of this video, we're going to name it our first string. First pixel string. There we go. First pixel string. And we're going to let it go from DMX Universe 1, Channel 1, all the way down through here. To 50. Okay. And we're going to create a group. 
And it's going to pop up and say, it looks like you might intend this to be a cosmic color device. Should this group be created as a cosmic color device? Hit no. Okay. There's your first pixel string. There's all 50 pixels right there. It's actually 150 channels because remember, each pixel is three channels. So when you click on it, right there they are, red, green, blue, if you want to expand them. If you double click on it and look, channels 148, 149, 150, red, green, blue. All right. So there is our first pixel string. We'll go ahead and do it for number two. Convert to a group. Right here. Second pixel string. And one of these days I'll learn how to spell. And this is going to grow from channel 50, 50, pixel number 51 to pixel number 100. 100. Great group. No, not a cosmic color device. Now we're going to do it one last time. Convert to a group. Third pixel string. Channel 101 all the way down to the end of the universe to 150. Create group. No, not a cosmic color device. There it is. Those three three little things right here you just did an entire universe you did 450 channels I know it's not a full universe but you broke it up evenly so you don't have extra channels there you know you know odd number of channels because you can't fit another string of pixels on that universe it's gonna roll over into universe 2 I like to keep them separate so now if we go to universe 2 we're gonna do the same thing insert device below and we're gonna go universe 2 and right here's what I should have done to begin with. See where it says add as a group. Uncheck that. Okay. Same thing. Add is 450 channels. You have to pick 464. Okay. And there they are. Convert to RGB channels. Right here. Okay. Also do this for the next 150. Now for anybody paying attention pretty sure I just made a mistake because if we go let's see I need to turn back on that network card I disabled it a minute ago if we go back into the ECP2 ECGP2 and look yep See right here, I made Universe 2 only 100 pixels, but in the sequencer, I made it 150. So that's a mistake. So which way do you want to fix it? Do you want to delete channels in the sequencer, or do you want to go over here and change it? I'm going to change it on the actual controller. So we'll go ahead and go into String Config, Admin, and right here, we're going to make that 150. Okay. So now universe 2 is 150, three strings of pixels. We're going to save that. Remember, always reboot. Continue. 